Hey everyone, this is Sean. Today's video, I am going to attempt to buy some ammunition over here at Big Five. I've been basically stockpiling um, a little bit before 2016, 2017, before the ammunition laws came into effect. And this year, it just happens that I'm actually running very low. So I need to go in there and buy some ammunition. I've never been through this process before and I want to share my experience. So I want to show you how difficult it is or how easy it is. Okay, I'm back. Guys, you just don't know how easy this was. <laughs> Total time for me to get to my car, film the 20, 30 second clip about me going to Big Five, buying ammunition, talking about how I'm gonna come back and talk about the process and then me actually coming back to my car. You're talking about 12 minutes. <laughs> it was fast, you guys, and there was no one in line. We just had to wait until that there was a manager that approved the purchase and then I fill out the forms. So let me talk about the forms that I had to fill out. Um, well, actually, let me start from the beginning. So I came here about 11 o'clock a.m and there was nobody here that was able to um, process my, my purchase. I told them, hey, this is the first time I'm buying ammunition. How, what do I do? I, it's, been a it's been many years since I purchased ammunition. So they gave me this form here of everything that I need to do. I was a little bit overwhelmed by this form. I mean, there's like six different things that, that go on, but it's really simple and I'll discuss the process. So when I showed up, after I did the first clip when I told you that I was going to go inside a big five, I talked to the manager, told them I was interested in buying some ammunition. I selected my ammunition. Check this out. Sig Sauer, Elite Defense, 124 grams, jacketed, hollow point. It's in my hand. I got it. Those of you who are not in California are probably wondering why this guy is so happy he was able to buy ammunition. You don't get it. <laughs> you have to be Californian to realize how exciting it is just, just to pick up some ammunition. So when I went in there, they needed a copy of my driver's license. My driver's license is, um, has federal limits on it. So what I had to do is produce my driver's license along with my birth certificate. You guys that just saw my birth certificate. It's an old one, as you can see. They don't even make birth certificates like this anymore. That's how old I am. So I, I fill out this little card about this big three by five, my email address, my full name, and I think that was it, and a phone number. I filled that out. They asked me if my driver's license has been current since I've last purchased the firearm, and I said yes. So this is the thing. I've had firearm purchases for the last 20 something years. Um, and my, my, my handguns are, are in their, in the department, California department of justice roster system, whatever database that they have. So if you have purchased a firearm in the past, your background check goes a lot easier and a lot smoother. So I have to pay a dollar for this background check. If, if you never had a firearm, then I believe it's a $19 fee for the background check, it might be $20. And you, you pay that fee and then they put you, they run you through the system, which is actually really fast. The results came back in about, about one to two minutes. It, it was super fast. And after that, the lady at the counter says, okay, I need to walk you to the front. And um, I was walked to the front, went to my own register, paid for my ammunition and walked out. Guys, it was 12 minutes. That's how easy it was. Now, unfortunately, Big Five only has uh, self-defense loads I didn't see any target ammunition for nine millimeter so that's what I picked up I have a course that I'm gonna go to pretty soon and it's a red dot optic course and part of the requirements for the course is you have to you, you have to um, have 100 rounds of duty type ammunition the reason for that is when you're firing at 25 yards if you have substandard ammunition you're not going to get the grouping that you want and your zero is going to be off so that's why you're required to show up to class to 50 with 50 rounds of duty type ammunition so i never shot this ammunition before 
124 grains, nine millimeter. The ammunition I was carrying before was actually, um, it, it was basically your civilian version of, of the Rangers. Now, I know some of you internet trolls are saying, hey, Sean, why do you need to do a background check if you are a big five? Or, didn't you say you're a police officer, you're a law enforcement officer? You're lying. This is, I caught you. I caught you lying. You're making this all up that you're a law, that you're a current law enforcement officer. So for all you trolls out there, the reason why I just walked in there and did it this way, and I didn't show any law enforcement credentials, is because I want to make a video to show you guys how easy, how unintimidating it is to purchase ammunition in the state of California. I, I initially I, got, I was getting a little bit antsy because of the process and. Um, I mean, I have nothing to hide. It just, it just, you don't know what to expect. So I wanted to try out and I wanted to share my experience with you. This video is especially helpful for those of you who are coming to the end of your stockpile of your ammunition. Uh, maybe you just barely turned 21. You're eligible to purchase a firearm. Obviously with the firearm comes ammunition. So hey, it, it, this was not bad at all. And I'm happy to say that I got my 50 rounds of duty type ammunition. If you have questions, concerns, let me know. Looking forward to dialogue. Also, let me know if it was this easy for you to purchase ammunition.